everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to go over some new beauty products that I have gotten my hands on and some first impressions that I have on these products for all these products I either purchased myself they were gifted to me for my birthday or various reasons or the company sent me them get it got it good let's start with the stuff that I purchased for myself let me tell you they had this old deal going on it was if you purchase $30 worth of tanning stuff you got a free pool raft. I needed a pool raft for 4th of July because everywhere in their mother is sold out right now. Like, uh, so I had to get, <coughs> I figured it was good of time as any to restock on my San Tropez self tan. I get the classic. I've already gone through two bottles of this. This is probably hands down my favorite self tanner. I've used quite a few in the past, but this is the one that I will consistently go back to because I can trust the results that come from this. And if you are wondering, yes, I got the raft. Isn't it so cute? It's like this little palm leaf with a pale pink background and it has little glitter that will go through all out it once it's blown up and it's massive. Okay, you're gonna just have to trust me that it's big, but I'm very excited about this. I would have paid full price for it because it's cute and I needed a raft. So that's all I have to say about that. And while I was on Ulta.com, I kind of strayed and went down a couple pathways and found myself buying more than I needed. I have really been wanting to try the brand The Ordinary and a lot of the products that I wanted to try were out of stock on Sephora. The first thing I wanted to try from The Ordinary that has been on my list for a while now has been this peptide serum and it's called Buffet. I was between this and the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I am new to the serum world and I was reading a lot of reviews and a lot of people said that this one is a great starter just because it has such a low dose of so many different good things that you can start getting your skin kind of ready to go into those more high impact serums. So this is what it looks like in the bottle. I believe that this was around $14.50. I'll put all the pricing down below in the description box. The other thing I got from The Ordinary was a 10 minute exfoliating facial. It has AHA and BHA and it's a peeling solution that is supposed to be like a really nice exfoliating mask. And I have really been wanting to try to use this on my nose because my nose has such clogged pores that no matter what I use, like it's not getting better. I figured before I start shelling out big bucks, I would try this. Like it looks absolutely dope in the bottle. Even if it doesn't work, like this looks super cool on my vanity. And the last thing that I got from Ulta that I purchased myself was a lipstick. It was from Dose of Colors and it is one of their long lasting matte lipsticks in the shade Coral Crush. This is what it looks like in the tube. While I love Jeffree Star and I really like Ofra as well, I still think Dose of Colors takes the cake completely. They just have such a lightweight formula that packs a lot of punch with color and it lasts all night and day and it does not budge and it doesn't cake or pill off any weird way. It's just such a pleasant experience to wear their lipstick and I usually forget that I have it on. It's that comfortable. I hope you'll be able to see how bright and vibrant this is on camera, but it is just this bam in your face, bright ass coral color. And I absolutely love it for the summertime for 4th of July. Like, this is my jam and I'm very excited that I got my hands on it. Now moving on, the next section of stuff I'm going to show you is stuff that has been gifted to me. So I didn't pay for this stuff myself, but my sister got it for me for my birthday. And I just wanna show you because I haven't really had too much exposure with this brand. So that brand is ColourPop. Like I said, I haven't really experimented much with them since I was younger. So really excited to dive back into them. I know they just came out with that like tie-dye collection of palettes that it's taking everything in me not to buy right now. Besides the point, here we are now, let's talk about what I did get. First, she got me this cute little set. If you didn't know, I'm supposed to be moving to Georgia. Right now, Miss Rona put, put the brakes on that real hard, but she got me like this peach themed gift. It was cute, whatever. That's why it's all peaches. This is the Bellini BB Lippy Bundle, and in this bundle, you get a lip balm and a lip scrub. First is the Lippy Scrub. This is the one that came in it. Again, it's called Bellini BB, 
and it's a cute little pot that you'll flip open and I haven't tried this yet um, but I love lip scrubs. It really doesn't have too pungent of a smell. What I'm comparing it to is normally I buy the Lush lip scrubs and these you can smell right off the bat like they pack a big flavor to them. What I do notice different about this rather than other lip scrubs, this has a little bit more of a lip balmy like texture while a scrub like this is mainly granules. So I feel like this may be a little softer on the lips, which could be nice. So I am excited to try this and see how this goes on the lips. And then with that bundle, you also got a little lip balm. This I have tried and I love. I put it in my bag um, when I went canoeing and it was perfect. It's really moisturizing. And the best part about this is when you leave it in your car, it's already melted so it can't melt further because that's always my problem. I'll leave my lip balms in my car and then I go to them and then they're all like melted on one side because it's a hot car and they're leaving. I don't have to explain heat to you. I hope. Also from ColourPop's website, their sister brand, Soul Body, she got me a shimmering dry oil. I love dry oils. I first experienced them last year with the Anastasia Shimmer Body Oil and absolutely fell in love with them. So really excited to try out Soul Body because it is a more inexpensive oil and I want to see how it's going to last and how it wears on the skin. She got me it in the color Peach Believe get it peaches we're staying on theme folks it looks like this it is so pretty it's this really pastel pink color with some gold glitter throughout it oh my gosh this smells so good wow this is actually really pretty and you can definitely get the hint of both the pink and the gold glitter you're not gonna see this on camera i already know i'm showing you a bare arm right now so i am really excited to wear this and see how it lasts throughout the day and going in water and things like that the last thing my sister got me from ColourPop were these falsy lashes which okay hold up ColourPop, are you trying to steal thunder because these are freaking cute these are in the shade bay that's what they look like i'll be honest these look exactly like my lashaholic lashes in a style stunna and those are their top selling lash and they are 30 dollars, and it's ridiculous so i am really excited to see if these are a dupe for those and see how well these wear on the eyes as well as how long um lasting they can be like how many uses i could get out of them so very excited about this. Last but not least, I did get sent something in the mail from a brand and that brand is called Authentic Beauty Concept. They sent me this for free to review for you guys. So if you guys wanna see my review, make sure that you're following me on my Instagram. My handle is Sarah Ann Cam. I'll have it linked down below. And once you see the picture of this posted, I'll have all the details below on it. What they sent me is their dry shampoo and it's not only to help with giving your hair another day of life, but also texturing your hair, which I have really hard time with because I have very thin hair and it didn't help that I bleached it so it's even thinner, but this will help give it some body and some texture that I can use to work with it a little bit more. Just love the aesthetic of all of their products. They all have just this white matte packaging with their black bold logo. I think it looks really cool. Let's see the spray. Whoa. What really draws me to this brand is they are very formula driven. All their products are going to be vegan and then they're free of parabens, silicones, mineral oils, uh, plastics. They are free of all that. Not only good for the environment, but it's good for your hair as well. So very excited to give this a try and make sure you're checking me out on Instagram so you see what I think about it. All right, everyone, and that concludes today's mini little beauty haul. What is your favorite thing that I got out of this? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. I put new videos out on Thursday and occasionally on Mondays. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.